Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you my favorite spring makeup look using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I love these eyeshadows. They're so smooth and creamy and they blend out so nicely. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've already applied my primer and foundation. I use the Smashbox Photo Finish Light and my foundations Revlon Color Stay and the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. And I let that dry. Now I'm applying an eye base. I'm using Eden from Urban Decay. And I'm just putting a little bit on my fingers and then just applying this to my eyelid. I'm also bringing it underneath my lower lash line. And then the last step, I just take whatever's left over and put it on my eyebrows. That way when I put my eyeshadows or when I fill my eyebrows in with eyeshadow, they stay all day. Okay, now I'm taking a 217 and I'm just going in with this all over shade. I don't have the shades, the little um, plastic thing that shows the colors, but that you get the idea. I think I can pull it out and maybe tell you what they are. So that one's called White Chocolate. Just taking this all over. I'm applying Salted Caramel and I'm using this as my transition shade. I'm just using the same 217 brush and just blending it into the crease. And then also bringing it underneath the lower lash line. And just blending it out. I'm taking a flat brush and I'm using white chocolate again and just to brighten that up I'm just applying it right underneath my eyebrow and then really quickly I'm filling in my eyebrows with copper plate and coquette and my MAC 263 brush Basically I just line the top and bottom and then just kind of use whatever's left over and fill in the rest. And the primer also helps to keep my eyebrows in place. Okay, now I'm taking, this is called Candied Violet and it's this shade right here. And I'm just going to take a flat brush and just pack this on the outer part of my eyelid. Bringing it about halfway in. And just making sure to pack it on really well. And it's going to come over after I'm done blending about three quarters of the way, but I want to leave that inner corner without any of the violet. And I'm not going to be applying any other brown with this because I feel like when I use other browns to blend it out, it just looks more purple and I kind of want to keep it looking blue. So I'm just taking that same brush that I used with the Salted Caramel. I'm not adding anything. I'm just working on blending this into the crease. See how it kind of looks more purple when you add brown to it? I'm using Triple Fudge, or actually it's on this side, Triple Fudge. This is a really dark matte brown, and I'm using a pencil brush, and I'm just taking this along my lash line in the outer corner, 
and then bringing it down onto my lower lash line. And I'm keeping this on the outer corner of my eye. I'm not bringing it in too far. And the same on the bottom. I'm just bringing it in about halfway. Okay, now I'm going back in with the violet shade just to make sure it's deepened up. And then for the inner corner, I'm using this shade right here, and this is called Champagne Truffle. I'm just taking a small flat brush and applying this to the inner corner and the first half of my eyelid. Taking it over the violet just to blend it in. And now I'm taking a clean fluffy brush and I'm just going to flick away any excess that's fallen down. And then just take my clean brush and blend the top part of my crease. And now I'm taking a concealer. I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20. And I'm just applying this with my ring fingertips. And I'm starting down here, and then I'm bringing it up. Also taking a little bit in the center of my forehead and then bringing it down onto my nose. And then just using my, or not my concealer brush, my foundation brush and I'm just blending this out. Okay, for eyeliner, I'm using Black Track Fluid Line. You can use any gel liner, really. So I've just winged it out a little bit. I have a video on my liner if you want to see how to do that. The link is in the bottom bar. And now I'm using L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. And I'm coating the top side and the bottom side of my lashes. And now I'm using my Rimmel Scandalize in Nude and just lining my waterline. Now I'm taking Max Prep and Prime Highlighter in Light Boost. And I'm just applying this right under my eyes. And then I'm blending out with my fingers. Now I'm taking a big fluffy brush. This is like a duo fiber brush from Sedona Lace. And I'm using it with my Hula Bronzer. And I'm just kind of pinching it and using it to contour. And I'm putting it underneath my cheekbones, on my temples, under my chin and on my jawline, underneath my nose a little bit, and then just blending it out.
Okay, now for blush, I'm using Pink Swoon, which is this shade right here. And I'm just using an e.l.f. brush. This is a small stippling brush. I'm just applying this to the top back part of my cheeks. And then for highlighter, I'm using Perfectly Lit Highlighter in Spotlight from Lorac. And I'm just applying this right above the blush on the top of my cheekbones. And then down the center of my nose. And then right above my lip. And for lips, I'm using Max Cream Cup. I have hit bottom pretty much on this, so I need to get a new one. And I'm using Dervish Lip Liner from MAC. And you don't really need a lip gloss with this lipstick because it's a cream sheen. But I am applying a little bit of Snob Lip Gloss, also from MAC, just right in the middle. And now last, I'm just taking my Fix Plus just to make sure that everything blends really well together. Also helps to make your makeup look a little bit more natural. I'm just going to spray this. So this is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.